Oh, tortoise, 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 tortoise. I can never say this word. I'm getting exposed. Tortoise snails. In German, it's shield frog. <laughs> What? Hello, everyone. Hello. Today we are doing simply reacts to complicated nail art. Where you try and show me a nail art that you think is really hard, and then I have to guess how that person did the nail art, and then we'll watch the video together to see whether or not I was wrong. <laughs> so I asked you guys the other day on Discord to let me know which nail art you want me to react to. It could it could have been your own. It could have also been other people, but to include a link of a picture and a video. And I did not cheat. I did not look because we're gonna do that together live. What's on your nails today? There are no secrets on my nails. Got one coat black, I'm over brew. High tea hibiscus, what do you pink? Not milky white. And I'm wearing everything taco on top of all of them. She's coming back soon. Don't have a date yet, but you know, I'll tell you when I can tell you. On my other hand, I have a new hollow taco combo that I just discovered. Five of our linear hollows, so like red licorice, hot wire pink, magenta jelly, purple slushy, and blue freezy, but with twilight shimmer on top. This guy, one of the new shimmers on top. In case you're new here, this is our Simply Discord server. There is no fee to use Discord either. It's just like a fun place for the community to all get together and talk. All right, first one. Oh my God. This reminds me of something, my jawbreaker nails. Okay, so there's a few ways you could do this. You could paint layers of nail polish like you're going to Polish Mountain, and then you could take a drill and drill it down. <laughs> oh God, the drill. Oh God, oh God. There was not a good time for me. I've also seen people take a Q-tip with acetone and then gently, very gently, just try and rub off some of the residual layers so that you do get uh, exposure to the bottom layers. I think it, fuck, was it gel? Is it gel polish? <laughs> Did she drill? See, she's going to Polish Mountain. That was like six or seven coats. Oh, she filed it down. Oh. Okay, so that's safer than a drill. But it's only really possible with gel polish, right? Because it has to like dry completely. If you tried to file regular polish, you're just gonna squish it. Okay, that's so cool though. Too many coats. How can you say that to me? <laughs> I thought this was a bug for a second. <laughs> I was gonna scream, but it's just a tomato. Is that a cherry tomato? How did you grow that? Let me guess, you planted a seed, watered it, and then magic happened. And then you put it in your salad. This is so, like, is it transparent? Yes, it is. <gasps> Cause you can see the leaf through the thumb. Oh my God. Oh, that's kind of a mind fuck. That's cool. It's a rose hip, not a tomato. What? What the fuck is a rose hip? What have you done, chat? Stop it. Stop, we're going off track. We are reacting to nails, not vegetables or fruits. It could either be the bubble technique where they use soap bubbles to create lines, but I'm not sure if that works with gel. There's like an ingredient in some nail polish that allows you to do what they call fluid nail art. It just kind of separates like a bunch of bubbles, kind of like oil and water. When you try to mix oil and water together, this kind of pattern can occur. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty stumped on this one. So she has a clear tip. Manual fade. Bubbles, oh. Oh, she made the bubbles herself. That's so cool, that looks smoky. Amazing. I can't compete with any of this, by the way. <laughs> so far, nope. <laughs> There will be no recreating stream. <laughs> oh shit. It's like stamping magnetic polish. Oh my God. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't read this. <laughs> I was just looking at it. So my assumption is she put the magnetic polish on first. It could be that the polish she used to stamp with was also a magnetic, because it's kind of like faint. Stamping polish, okay, so they use regular, just like white stamping polish. Oh, so she put it as a layer in between. That's so cool. Oh, tortoise, tortoise, I can never say this word, I'm getting exposed. Tortoise, tortoise, tortoise. How, guys, chat, how do you say this word? Tortoise. <laughs> tortoise nails. That sounds so like ugly as a word. Tortoise. Tortoise though, that sounds much nicer. 
In German, it's shield frog. In Danish, it's skilled paddle. In Hindi, it's kachua. In Philippines, it's pagong. In Romanian, it's turtle frog. We're learning languages around the world. Thank you guys. Okay, all right, all right. Class is over. If it's gel, then I think they did something similar to how Nailku did the bubbles at the end. Yeah, so it's just freehand painting, kind of floating the gel polish. It'll blend a little bit into the base yellow. Looks like they're diluting the color a little bit with a top coat. Ah, so they paint on another layer just to give it more dimension. From Maggle's Nails, ever wanted a colorful Venn diagram on your nails? Well, here you go. We learned about animals, languages, fruits, and now we're learning about colors. I think they painted white and then black stripes with a striping brush. Not necessarily in this order, but yellow, blue, red circle first, and then taking a smaller detail brush and actually manually painted in the middle color. Striping brush. Oh, 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 something I missed. Something I missed because look how perfect these circles are. Well, it looks like nail vinyls to get that perfect circle. And then, oh my God. And then reusing the vinyls. Oh my God. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Holy shit. Um, oh, this is so pretty. So my assumption is they did a gradient of these pastel polishes. And then over top of that, they did a mix of clear and black. Okay, so they didn't do a gradient. Mm. They're starting off by applying the polish in rainbow order on what looks like a plastic sheet Maybe a silicone sheet. Oh! Okay, so they're making a sticker. The black they just layered over is a special polish that creates the, all those little bubbles. I'm using a DIY Spot It polish. Oh, they made it themselves? You can do that? I made by mixing one drop of silicone anti-frizz hair product in one regular bottle of black polish. If you have any questions, let me know. We have questions. I am letting you know. <laughs> what? How could I have ever guessed this? <laughs> so wait, what do you need? Any anti-frizz hair product that has silicone in it. Okay, interesting. This, this was sponsored Hollow Taco content. However, I don't know exactly how they did it, but like, no, I do though, because I watched this video to approve it. <laughs> I think this was just mostly freehand. Paint lavender, shady navy, have like a strip down the middle. Let's see how good my memory is. <laughs> oh, so they mix the two polishes. So mostly freehand. Very talented to be able to do freehand treats like that though. Oh, damn, my brain hurts, but I love that. It reminds me of my olden days, back when I did reciprocal gradients, reverse gradients with nail vinyls. So underneath I'm seeing a vertical gradient, so nail vinyl, and then over top of the nail vinyl you do another gradient, but you've shifted which colors you're picking from the rainbow spectrum. So we've got some neon colors. Oh, they put it directly on. Oh, interesting. Mm. Okay, this is even more like advanced level. So they painted different colors on a silicone mat and used the nail art vinyls to help them create those shapes and then peeled it off later and stuck it when it was dry. Ooh, what? I'm kind of struggling like how they did this. You could do this freehand. On the other hand, you could do this using chevron like zigzag nail vinyls, but that means you would have to do that step with the glossy taco one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, which is ridiculous. I mean, I've done that, but <laughs> it's stamping. It is a stamping plate. All right, let's watch. First layer at the bottom and they're kind of transparent so you can see through them. Oh my God, the placement of that though like lining it up at the right place. Mystery solved though. How do you guys think they did this one? Do you think it was a marble technique? I don't think this was water marbling. I think this was um, smooshing. Mm. Painting her nails a base color. Oh, she put it on a stamp. Is that a string? What the fuck? Hold on, I gotta watch that again. What, what just happened, guys? Is that a menchie hair? Tell me, we could use menchie hairs in nail art all along. I don't have to keep pulling them out. But it looks like she put a string, dabbed polish, and then pulled it. What? How did it go from that to beautiful? <laughs> like, what? What? Add some gold flake taco. 
The teal is probably wet. Yes, I assume she did a first coat of bring me the teal, let it dry, and then put on a second like thick coat and then proceeded to do this so that the colors blend in nicely. How did she get the bubbles? I'm dumb. I did this and I don't even know how I did this. That's me thinking about how the fuck do I do this? <laughs> so basically they're nail polishes that have some different kind of chemical composition that break up when you paint them on. Spotting effect is what they called it. Nailing painting, we know her. <laughs> I don't know, um, how did you do this? Let me guess. Ridiculous levels of talent. You are in the 1%. <laughs> this could be 100% freehand. Like you could have started off with a gradient and then these two stripes, I think you could have done with um, acrylic paint and a tiny like angled brush. Okay, gradient in the way that I thought. Painting the lines with a big brush. What? Faded white to make the water look more like water. Stars, a scattered hollow, glossy taco to bring it all together. Amazing. Okay, we still have like so much more left. I'm barely, I'm barely halfway down. Is this a water marble? Okay, so it's a drag marble. Okay, my guess is they took the unicorn skins and freehand drew them in those patterns. Freehanding each unicorn skin, yep. This looks like striping tape or small nail vinyls. Looks like a gradient of polishes. Nail vinyls that are um, like a square edge. They manually placed regular stripes to get it there. Wow, amazing. Holy shit, this looks like freehand because there's just no other technique that could accomplish this. Look how detailed that is. They even freehand painted that heart? Holy shit, okay. Discord was so fun, but um, I'm thinking we're gonna call this game for now and I will potentially save future entries for another one of these Simply Reacts. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all soon. Bye.